plaintiff, Shauna Albert, is a single mom of four, and the defendant is her youngest son. Shauna claims the defendant abused marijuana and synthetic marijuana as a teen, which led to angry outbursts. And she's suing him today for rent, utilities, and damaged property. Defendant Dylan Albert says growing up, Shauna had a lot of boyfriends in and out of their home and he often felt like she prioritized them over her children. Dylan insists his mother is suing him for more than he owes. Start with you. Um, a little backstory. I um, was a single mother of four children. Dylan is my youngest. Um, I wanted to keep them out of housing and things, so I worked two jobs most of the time, which gave them a little free time, too much free time sometimes. Um, Dylan um, got into smoking marijuana. Um, rumor had it there what was age? some um, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. um, there was some rumor at some time there was some synthetic marijuana, um, which caused him anger outbursts, very upset a lot of the time, um, arguing if he was out of marijuana or if he was out of okay. the synthetic, um, he'd come very irritable, mm -hmm. angered easily. So you think he used marijuana uh, excessively? Uh, okay. Because what you describe possibly. is, um, yeah, what you describe are symptoms of someone addicted Correct. to marijuana. People can become addicted to marijuana like they become addicted to alcohol, like they become addicted to other drugs. And this was during his early teens or mid-teens. And uh, what type of behavior was he exhibiting other than that? Was he troubled? Was he, um, did he stay in school? He, he did not um, stay in school. He did, however, wind up later receiving a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. Um, he, his father was not in his life mm -hmm. as well, so that was rough as well. And having a single mother with four kids, there was many times we did without, you know, utilities. Uh, you know, I did the best I could, but I wasn't there like I should have been. Yeah. And, um, and it doesn't sound like you got a lot of support from the father. No, not at all. He um, himself is an addict, yeah. uh, in and out of prison, jail, so... Uh, single parenting almost by nature if you have more than a few kids uh, and you're not a professional and a high earner um, almost equals poverty so it's up to struggling moms like you to take on two jobs as you have over the years as my mother did my mother had four children four boys oh, goodness. in an <laughs> impoverished community and worked two jobs and supervision was a little light and so we did a lot that uh, when she wasn't around. But she gave us the good basics to uh, fall back on. So I'm sure with your other three children, you don't have to sue them for rent and utilities. And they all right? <laughs> they the are. other three children? Good. Yes, yeah. That means you did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. They're all functional. They're all functional and productive citizens. So it's up to struggling moms like you to take on two jobs as you have over the years, as my mother did. My mother had four children, four boys. Oh, goodness. In an impoverished <laughs> community and worked two jobs. And supervision was a little light. And so we did a lot that uh, when she wasn't around. But she gave us the good basics to uh, fall back on. Defendant Dylan Albert is being sued by his mother, who claims Dylan often had violent arguments with his girlfriend. Young man, you give me some background on you. Um, well, so like my mother said, she was a single parent. Um, she did have boyfriends kind of in or out. Sometimes I felt like, uh, like they were kind of her priority and I felt unheard being the youngest. Um, so, uh, we, we didn't get along great as I got older and got into my teenage years. I, when I was 14, I had decided to move in with my grandmother, but my grandma I, does spoil me and I, yeah. so I am, <laughs> I, I did get away with a lot being there. And I've seen that a thousand times. Now I'll let that happen right now when my grandbaby's only four. But uh, <laughs> she comes over at 
12 or 10 even is not, it's going to be what mama said happens over here, not what granddad wants to do and have fun and play. No, it's exactly what mama said. You gotta, and you can't come over here to escape to an easier life. <laughs> the life, here, life here is going to be just as it was at home. So I'm glad that you brought that up, that your grandma spoiled you. And here you dropped out of high school when? What year? How old were you? What grade? Uh, it was my junior year. When did you get your GED and what have you been doing since then? Um, I got my GED in, uh, I want to say 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, since then, I've pretty much just bounced around from job to job here and there. What type of jobs? Uh, a couple factory jobs, a couple kitchens. What happened to the factory jobs? Those are usually good paying jobs. Uh, well, uh, my girlfriend is pregnant now mm -hmm. and so uh, I've had to uh, try and make time schedules work out and sometimes to get her back and forth from doctor's appointments because I, I drive. So you quit your factory job? Somewhat, yes. Okay. There are other things as well. One of them was uh, I, I was told to do one thing but I was doing multiple jobs at, at once and okay, I felt so like... Too much work on that one. What's the last factory job? They what happened to that enough. one? <laughs> Boy, well, big ego. They didn't pay enough. All right. <laughs> this guy yeah, you else. might be on that may be something because I don't advocate people working for non-competitive wages. You got to give you your price and you ain't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me how your son owes to rent and utilities and damaged property. Well, in November of 2020, um, we were living in a home that burnt down. And his, and his girlfriend had came to stay with us the day before it burnt down. So they literally had been at our house one day. The next day, the house burnt. Your house? Yes, correct. So Red Cross did help out. Um, we did find a house to move into November 1st of 2020. Um, talked to Dylan and his girlfriend. We agreed that he would pay half of the utilities and the rent so that we could get on our feet again and they could get on their feet. We're going to help each other out. Um, within two to three months of being in the house, uh, it was a little embarrassing. The cops were there two or three times because of arguments um, between Dylan and his girlfriend. Um, and the anger issues uh, would lead to uh, broken windows, doors. Um. You a weed head? <laughs> I, smoke, I smoke weed, yes. All day? Uh, not all day, but How often. many joints a day? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, roughly five to six. That's a weed head. <laughs> Five or six joints a day is too much weed, sir. You suffer from uh, weed addiction, it sounds like to me. And you need to read up on how to overcome that. Um, perhaps some type of outpatient therapy. All right, and what was the total so, amount okay, per month? So the rent was $900 a month. Mm -hmm. So that would have been four fifty dollars for half the rent. Um, and the utilities, it's $495 for the three months. Okay. that he was at the house. My father loaned me the money to be able to get the home in November, so we agreed that it would not start until December 1st for okay. him. Okay, December 1st, mm-hmm. And that would give him time to find a job and be able to help pay so his half. So he didn't have a job at that point. He did find a job yeah. for a short period of time. <laughs> he just didn't keep the job. Didn't wake up. Yeah. That's the other part of smoke too much weed. It's hard to wake up in the morning, sir. Yes, he's not a morning person. Right. <laughs> Neither am I, though. <laughs> All right. And with regard to uh, the payments that he made, um, which months did he pay? I mean, he only, literally, he gave me about $125 the whole time he was there, which he eats a lot because, you know, <laughs> he has the munchies. <laughs> so that, that $125 was gone in one grocery trip. <laughs> okay, and the total you received so far was $125. Correct. Defendant Dylan Albert is being sued by his mother, who claims Dylan often had violent arguments with his girlfriend. So what do you want to tell me about this, sir? Rent and utilities. Uh, I okay. I never recall. There was never any paper stating that I had to pay half the rent. I never signed anything with her. We never wrote anything down. It was just a verbal agreement. And what I recall was that we had said I would give her what I could. I had never agreed to pay half of the rent. 
So you and your pregnant woman, the only amount of money you've had to pay for you all's living uh, arrangements is $125? No, what sir. What would happen if your mom wasn't here? How would you take care of your uh, pregnant woman and yourself? Grandma. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. What would you live off of then? <laughs> well, I, I have places I could go, people I could see. Who? You would be living off somebody else? Well, I didn't say that, but there are places I could stay and jobs well, then I could say get. what you mean. <laughs> say how you would pay to live. Or would you bum off everybody? Well, I wouldn't bum off Well, anything. how would you pay? It's either pay or bum. That's, there's no in between. I would, I would get either a job, Are you paying sir. your way or you're bumming your way? I would get a job, sir, and pay rent. So why haven't you done it with your mom? I tried. I tried getting jobs. I tried okay, working. Okay, so then if you... So how would you get a job with these other people that you would go to if you haven't been able to get one in nearly a year with your mom? Well, the jobs I did have were just handy. All right, fine. What about now? You're bumming off I, of your mother. I have applied for five jobs in the past And you say you're going to go to other people months, and sir. bum. I've applied for, the, I've applied for five jobs in the past six months. I understand. That's a shame. I'm just asking you. You did work at some point between November and now, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So why didn't you pay her when you were working? Because I have to eat. And you didn't pay that bill, she said. <laughs> what would you do if she wasn't around? I don't know, sir. Yeah, you would you. bum off somebody else. You already said what you would do. I got other people I can live off of. <laughs> yeah, I can, oh, I'll bum off this person or that person. Work? What do you mean, work? What is your property damage for? Um, if you look at page one, there is a bedroom window that was in him and his girlfriend's bedroom that was busted out. Um, page two. What happened? Uh, just when, when the anger outburst would happen and they would argue, he would, which I'm, can say I'm, rather than put his hands on her, he would break things uh, when he was irritable and angry. Sir, what do you say to the damages <laughs> your mom is alleged to you? Well, I agreed, uh, to pay f I agreed to pay for one door because there was a day that I came home and the door was locked and I couldn't get in. You kicked it in? So I kicked it in. Other than that, I, I don't think I owe anything. You didn't damage anything else? I, I don't recall damaging anything else. Okay. Do you recall, ma'am? Um, there was, okay. the bedroom door was broken to three pieces. Uh -huh. Okay. So the bedroom no longer has a door. Mm -hmm. uh, two windows were broken in the bedroom. Okay. The front door and the side door, screen doors and door frames. There are pictures of those in there as well, are all damaged. They all have to be replaced. Oh, and we right. do rent, so. Well, you're very clear and you remember everything and you're a self-admitted weed head and the number one uh, <laughs> symptom of long-term or excessive weed use is a bad memory. So I'm gonna rely on the non-weed head today. <laughs> and I wanna grant her judgment. And that's $3,578. It's time you become a man and take care of yourself and your baby and stop all this quitting jobs because this, that, and the other. Have a good day, judgment for mama. Thank you. Dylan, I know you're working on your anger. And I love you. And I, I just want a responsibility. I love you. I love you. I want to settle our differences and try and work on our relationship. Make Me it better. Me too. Me too.